Welcome to a Goody Reader app review. Today we're looking at Scribd. Scribd recently unveiled a new unlimited model a few weeks ago, and this is the updated app that users pay around like $8.95 a month. You get access to an unlimited amount of books, audiobooks, magazines, news, documents, and sheet music. First set up your Scribd account, it'll ask you for interests, fantasy, sci-fi, uh, a myriad of things. You can look at all sort of the interests here self-help, technology, sports and recreation, and then once you have it, you could uh, customize your home screen. The only thing I'm not sure of is once you establish interests, how you remove these interests or uh, how you delete existing interests. I looked at the app, I looked online, and there doesn't seem to be a way right now that you can do that. I've reached out to Script to see exactly how you do it or if they can introduce this feature in a future firmware update. So those are the interests. Uh, you can kind of look at your account information here, invite friends, reading history, audiobook preferences. You can uh, adjust the jump. So by default it's a 30 second jump but you can actually customize that and this is one of the first ebook like uh, sort of audiobook apps that allow you to change the jump, which is pretty cool. You can also change it for cellular data if you have a smartphone or if you have a tablet, Wi-Fi, LTE, etc. So this is the home screen, and this is the sort of interest that I selected. So you have top picks for you. If you look at books. This is sort of like the default best-selling books, new in this. So let's just click on, I don't know, this right here. Editor's notes, tags, ratings, reviews that people have written on the script. And then it's like more from Stephen King related books, which are probably all by Stephen King. And then you can click here and you can actually send like a airdrop link. So you can send the link to yourself via email or any of the apps that you have installed here. And then you can just simply click start reading. So pretty solid little interface, two page spread. You can adjust the light of your device here. You can ch gradually change, and this is kind of like a cool slider bar where it could show various degrees of the bright white screen, and you can go to sepia, and you can change like the light or darkness of sepia, or you can go to dark mode. I kind of like the slider bar. Usually with like, it only has two, white, sepia, or nighttime reading mode. I kind of like the different degree slider bar. You can change live the, you know the thing of text you can change the fonts uh, it goes into non two page spread if you put the tablet or phone in landscape mode but you can see here how much time is left in a particular chapter as well as how many pages are left in a chapter so the one thing about I like about Scribd when it comes to uh, their ebook catalog is most of the books are from major publishers. So you're gonna have like no shortage of like the latest books that recently have come out. So these are the best selling ones. So they're not gonna be like the books that just came out, but you can definitely like isolate it. Are the ones who do. Apple's Think Different commercial, 1997. Okay, so cover art, the ebook, like the audiobook quality is crystal clear. You can adjust the playback speed. So these are the playback speeds that it supports. Skipping ahead is determinant on what you, settings that you did as I showed you in the settings menu. Uh, you can do a lot of things. You can store this book offline. So you can actually save this book to your tablet or smartphone. It tells you how much storage it'll take. And But this way, if you don't have an internet connection, or if you're commuting or something like that, you can actually listen to it without needing a Wi-Fi or an LTE connection. So it saves like on data. Bookmark, save for later, share the book, about book. So about book just kind of brings you back there. 
Here's magazines. Now they're not full magazines. Uh, it more or less like it's curated articles from it. So let's take a look at just a magazine here. We'll look at, I don't know, PC magazine. So as you can see here, you can follow the magazine. You could look at these are the articles in it. It actually tells you how long each article will take to read. So like five minutes, one minute, kind of click here. So you can see it's a very ebook friendly version of it. You see that it does have options here that were not found in an ebook. So you can just change the font or the brightness of the screen. This is their news system. So you have things from like Los Angeles Times, The Atlantic, featured publications, Fortune. So you can kind of click here. Sort of like their uh, magazine articles, like magazine system, but it incorporates like newspapers and things like that too. Sheet music, this is relatively new. It's like only been around for like about a year or two. Um, but for people that want to learn how to say like play the piano, so sting the best 25 years, you can be like, oh, okay. This is the guitar music. Or you could, uh, you know, do sort of by like piano music. So let's take a look at how this looks. So here's the sheet music. You could pinch and zoom, change the brightness of the screen. Uh, you can see that there's two things here on the corner, you know, store offline, you know, all that type of stuff. We've looked into that. But yeah, sheet music is like definitely, which really doesn't really have the support of the major publishers, mainly indie authors and things like that. Um, and uh, original content from Amazon imprints and things like that. So this is Scribd. This is an overview of the app. Let us know what you think about it in the comments below. For goodyreader.com, my name is Michael, and everybody take care.